Today, I'm going to be showing you how to make a uh, simple keycard door that stays open for a relatively good amount of time. So it simply works by having an item sorter to a pulse extender that unlocks this door. So this is what the redstone is going to look like. I'm going to show it block by block over there in a minute. But the hopper over here, you're going to want to have 21 blocker items. These could be anything. We're just using barriers for the sake of this video. And then also your code. You're going to want to make, when you make the actual door, you're going to want to make two copies of the code. Because you need one to unlock, and then you need like one to act as like the reader. So you simply put the item in the dropper, click the button. Door should be open for a nice amount of time for you to get your code. And then walk inside, do what you want. And then when you want to leave, you place a, a button over here, up there. This one won't be open as long, since there's no sender. So I recommend you can use like a wood button over there. So now for the actual block by block. You're going to want to start out building a nice little platform around this size. You can mess with it a little bit, mess with the block palette of your choice, make it fit your build. You want to punch out a little hole right here and a dropper hole right there. Place the dropper in there, and then go over here. And then you can place a button down here. This doesn't have to be a stone button. It could be a wood button if you want. Then again, whatever fits what you're doing. Now for the actual redstone. You don't want to have a little thing like this. This is going to be the, uh, the item sorter part of the uh, build. Then you want to have a block down here, and one right there, and then something looking like this. And you want to want to uh, punch out the block right over here. So to actually wire it up now, you're going to have a hopper over here going into this dropper. You have a comparator coming out of here, and then two dust over here. Repeater like this. And now for the pulse extender, you're going to want to have two dust over here, two comparators, another two comparators, and then right over here, redstone dust. Torch goes here, here, and here. All right, once you've done all that, now it's time to uh, fill the hopper. So you're going to want to put 21 filler items and then one item you're going to use as your uh, key card. So in this case, we're going to be using uh, paper. So you simply put the paper in, click the button. You can take it out, you can leave it in, and then walk in, do what you want. Stay in here for however long you need to do something. And then when you want to leave, simply click this button. You can replace it with a wood button. You can do whatever you want with that. You can leave it as a lever if you want to have the door stay open once you're inside as well. And after that, then it'll close as long as you make sure to flick it off. So this is a good design for like adventure maps. You can use it in a survival base. Of course, the person could just pickaxe the door, but where's the fun in that? Thank you for watching. I hope you uh, enjoyed this and hopefully use this design in one of your builds. Thank you.